Okay, well I've been playing with my little plasma cutter uh, deal. I think I got most of the speeds and stuff set pretty good, or at least I figured them out. Um, changed a few things on the, the machine. And I've got it set pretty fast right now. I think I'll show it to you. I'm running a different uh, G-code sender than I was, and it helped a lot. Because I've got the little relay here. Okay, that's the off. If the, both lights, there's two lights up here. If they're both on, then that means the uh, torch will be on. And it's got a, what is it, 0.4 second pierce delay. I think is what I have it set at right now in sheet cam. Okay, on this file, I'm going to have... Uh, okay, <laughs> check this out. 15,000 millimeters a minute is the travel speed, like the, yeah, travel speed, I guess. And the cut speed, I've got it at 1,000 millimeters a minute. And seems to be, I don't know, about right. I might try it like that, I don't know. The rapids are real quick, so I might, I might tame those down a little bit. They're a little extreme, but I'll show you. Ready? Here we go. It really moves out when, uh, see there's both lights are on so the cut's working. It really moves out when you, uh, whoop. yeah, when it goes to those rapids, boy, it, it flies. Um, it's cutting a weird file I found. It's actually meant to be 3D printed. Uh, it's just four gears. And one's, one's real big. One's got a cut in the middle. That's the one it just finished. And now, now it's going to, well, it's working on uh, three smaller, or four smaller gears, excuse me. Um, they've all got teeth, so that's why it's kind of going back and forth is making the little gear teeth but it's really cool when it, it moves out in those rapid moves it really starts to fly okay here it goes on the four smaller teeth they should be pretty they should be in a row just right down that axis there See if I can let you see that that relay, because it actually does turn on and off. It was getting stuck on one of the universal G code sender. It was getting stuck on the M3 and M5 codes, which is what controlled this. So I switched sender, the G code sender, and. Um, it seems to be working a whole lot better. I mean, there's three of them that I tried. This is the the least fancy of any of them. It's just pretty plain Jane. You can't even jog the axis. Oh, there it's done. But anyway, here I'll show you. Let's see. Okay, give me a thing it's done. This is it. Um, G-code sender. And it's just plain Jane. Uh, shows you what the code is that it's sending and that's about it I mean it doesn't have like a scroll or any of the other fancy stuff but it just works so that's good um, yeah so anyway the rapids were here let me turn this on again anyway the rapids were 15,000 millimeters a minute and the cut rate like right now is thousand but yeah got her got her going I'll see if I can get the torch hooked up now talk to you later